Hello and welcome to the instant match reaction after Liverpool drew 0-0 with United at Old Trafford. Um, that was really, really dull. That was, <laughs> it's, oh, it's funny, I, on the cab uh, on the way here to work, I was my taxi driver was a blue and he was saying, oh, you're going to watch the game? I was like, yeah. And he was like, not what they're cracked up to be anymore, are they, those, those games? Like with the last few times we played United, especially at Old Trafford, they've just been a bit... Uh, lost yeah. the X factor of them, haven't they? But uh, like going into it, I honestly thought that we could do something. I thought looking at both teams on paper once the lineups came out, you're seeing obviously the the missing a few key players, mm -hmm. uh, Matic being being the main one, and, and you're thinking, I, yeah, Martial, I, we can get something out of this game. We mm. can genuinely go for them and and show them that we're better and. It just our attacks didn't work. Obviously, losing Bobby Firmino at the start and replacing him with a, with a Daniel Sturridge, he's yeah. probably out of form as well. Yeah, didn't help. Mm -hmm. But the way we attacked just didn't work, did it? We're, we're trying to whip balls over the top. It's just mm -hmm. getting swallowed up by they're good defenders. You know, what yeah. I mean? the routine defending is what we gave them. And, it, and it's it's fine saying yeah, it's Trafford. It's going to be our game. We knew it was going to be a hard game. But like you said, Martial out, Mat uh, Matic out were two main starts for them. And yeah. then during the game, they lose Herrera, who's yeah. the main defensive midfielder for them. Yeah. Now since Matic has been out, then they lose. Play Lingard comes on and comes off instantly. Mm -hmm. because, uh, one of their most potent attackers. I can't remember who the last player was. Who was the other one? Someone else got somebody, injured. Somebody else, somebody else got injured that was important. Uh, and then it's sort of that. We everyone we were licking our lips. We were like, yeah. "This is how, when does this happen? When yeah. do you see three players go off in the space of twenty five minutes?" But like you said, I think us losing Firmino at the same time, it's almost like chess. Like you, yeah. you, you sacrifice a queen to get three pawns, and <sighs> it, it just it didn't work. And for me, I think it's it, it it's no lie that you look at Leicester draw. You look at the draw against West Ham, mm -hmm. draw against Bayern Munich, another draw against Manchester United. I think that midfield that we had, and the one game that we won a 3-0 in was Genie, Fabinho, Cater. Mm -hmm. That creativity that those three possess. And I get why he didn't, because he wants to play safe, he wants to mark Pogba out of the game, which is fine, but then I think not bringing Cater into the game maybe, maybe was a, a, mis a mistake from Klopp. Well, do you think that if Bobby doesn't go off then it, I think it's a different story oh, you know, in, a, in a way definitely. just because of how he links up play and mm -hmm. uh, he's been a, a, a reason why we've been playing so well mm -hmm. recently in terms of that attack and yeah. obviously we've drawn but we've still been playing well you know what I mean and mm -hmm. yeah it's, it, it's, it's, it's just really really frustrating I all think, game I think he's Oh, you, there's a few places I think losing a centre back is the worst thing obviously we don't have a replacement mm -hmm. losing Robertson's a massive thing but then after that Firmino's the worst person to lose yeah. because he is when your midfield's not your midfield isn't creating enough he can join that midfield yeah. and he, he will force it he will make you he'll make you attack he'll make things out of nothing and I think it was just such a when he went down and we saw him twist his ankle and hopefully yeah. he's fine we don't know if he is uh, what the, just the, the duration of that is yet but it was just sort of a oh, of all players well that's like, it it's, it's even horrible. for the next few games you know it was Watford and Everton you might be missing which exactly. is a massive exactly. massive blow and look I don't want to Hate on Sturridge, mm. but he just didn't do didn't do it for me. He, he he he's not the same. He doesn't know how to press right in terms of blocking passing lanes. I don't feel like. Yeah. Um. He was just a bit impotent. Yeah. He had that one shot from like fifty yards out that didn't oh, go really anywhere. Shot. I mean, it's, it, what I was, I was saying I was like, when I was during the game is that it would be nice to get to a point where Sturridge leaves and we don't have to keep saying. I remember when he was so yeah. blisteringly fast. I remember when him and Suarez tore tore United apart, and it's. It's horrible seeing a player that had this high of a ceiling just season after season just come down to a point where you don't know what he does anymore. Yeah. Because you bring him on and you're like, oh, he's got a great shot on him. And that's that's fine. But if he can't work the space to find himself a shot, then that's, he's, it's useless. We, we were saying, weren't we, that when, when Shakiri was coming on, would you take Sturridge off? Yeah. Because he just wasn't doing anything. He no, he wasn't. And, and uh, Shakiri come on, he didn't have any effect really. He didn't get the ball too much. Mm. He, he, he looked a bit lively when we gave him the ball, but yeah. like nothing happened at the end of it. It was annoying that we, we, we seemed to control the game. Yeah. But they had the better chances. It, yeah. it, it, was, it was such a strange game in terms of like... They're catching us on the break, which is the game plan. We defended it well, to yep. be fair. Yep. But like, even towards the end of the game, Smallin could just put that away in yeah. what, like the 87th yeah. minute. And that's heartbreak. And then that, yeah, and that sums up the whole day. It, it was for Liverpool. It was unforced errors, I think. Yeah. And that was the most annoying part. That was the most frustrating part. Was them unforced errors because we know that we're brilliant. We mm. know that we're fantastic. Mm -hmm. And when you're watching people like Gene Rinaldum, Mo Salah, Sadio Mane misplay some passes, yeah. and and then yeah. whole attacks breaking down, and and people in our midfield 
taken one too many touches. Mm-hmm. When we played well recently, it's one touch football. Mm. It's literally go and give and go, and and defenders can't deal with that. Mm. And we decided to sort of sit in front of Man Man U's back line and do nothing with it. Yeah. There was no penetrating runs no. n- not on that really made you get out of your seat the mm. thing that got me out of my seat was Allison making a fantastic yeah. save yeah and that was that is the point isn't it is like you've said is that United had the the Lingard chance that obviously Allison saves they had the Pogba shot that Van Dijk if Van Dijk doesn't head that away mm-hmm. that's bottom corner that's a yeah. goal the last chance of the game was Smalling th- th- they're three clear cut opportunities we couldn't fashion one <laughs> and it's and it's and when you look at the, the injuries that they've had before and during the game you're thinking what like yeah. there's there's not a better place to go when a, a team like that have had that many injuries where you can just go at them but yeah. it's, it's I think it's a mixture of either just not having that cater like player I think maybe he was again I, I see why he didn't play him but I would have introduced him to the game at some point because you needed someone to penetrate whereas that three the front three uh, well, losing Firmino is harsh but mm. you can't just stand static against the back line like that Shaw was all over Sally didn't show him any of the ball Mane on that left hand side there wasn't enough service out there to him and Robertson and it was just coming down the right with Milner and yeah. it was either just trying to recycle and getting dispossessed trying long balls over the top it's just it's not Liverpool it's not it's it's yeah. not the football that wins us games that has won us games the last two seasons and that's, and that's the most frustrating part is like I'm not that angry at the result look you're going away from home and Old Trafford yeah, yeah. In, in past seasons and they'll never be fine yeah. obviously it's not now because we are we are on paper better than them yeah. um, we're still top of the league though Bailey we are still top of the league and by our own right you know what I mean yeah. we've got there because we're that good at football and and yeah, you, you can be angry and stuff and I'm sure a lot of people will be angry in terms of it's it, it's a missed opportunity isn't it and yeah but it's, it's one of those where I think you, you say before the game, draw at Old Trafford, take it. Mm-hmm. And I think you, you might have a split. You might think people are fancy our chances of going at them. But this is 14 games now unbeaten in the yeah. Premier League for you. Yeah, yeah. They're on a brilliant run of form given the the, the terrible start they had with Mourinho. Mm-hmm. They're a fantastic team. And the likes of Pogba is, is probably the best defend, uh, best between the best midfielder in the Premier League, at least, at the mm-hmm. minute. And it's you show them that respect. But then it's the, the nature of the game that I think then gets you frustrated because you see all those injuries and you go... Right, this is for the taking now, yeah. and it's when you don't capitalise on that that's so frustrating because you just. It, it, I get completely what you're saying. Yeah. I get that it's Trafford and it's it, it's a draw would have been fine, and we're still top of the league. It's just the nature of seeing something pass you by, isn't it? A part of opportunity yeah. comes like duck hunt, and you yeah. see it and you just yeah, let yeah. it go, and it's and that that is the thing. And and we, I just don't want to come back to this and rue this. No, exactly. At the end of the day. Exactly. Um, but the, the the thing is, we were saying all all through the game, this has been a terrible game of football to Absolutely. watch. But if we nick it at the end, you know what I mean? Mm. Like we did against Everton. We, yeah. we cited Everton. I think yeah. Paul cited Everton and just said, we weren't very good. I mean, then we nicked it at the end. Absolutely. And th- I, that's why I still had hopes all the way through. And then it, the most, <laughs> the worst thing about it is the game just petered out. Yeah. Shakiri's got the ball. I'm, 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 I'm trying to fashion something and just not. We just, just didn't go safe. for it. It yeah. was, it was really, really strange, on Liverpool like yeah. as you say. I I'm not too bothered. Look, we've got Watford coming up next. Yeah, we, we, we have to go out there and win. But yeah. I, I, I fully expect us to win. Mm. And then you've got Everton, massive game. You don't need lift them for that. You know mm-hmm. what? Every player knows the stakes of that. Every single player, you can't not win that game. No, and I think that you, you look at. Because as I cited earlier, the, the four draws we've had with mm-hmm. that midfield, and I'd, I'd like Watford to now be the second Bournemouth where we go. Yeah. Fabinho, Keita, Juan Aldum, you're our on paper best midfield. Mm-hmm. Keita, you're the best attacker we've got in the midfield. Fabinho, you're the best six, and Juan Aldum, you do everything brilliantly. Yeah. So the three of you go out there and do what you did against Bournemouth, and if they do, I think that is the main stake for our midfield. And of course, you bring in the likes of Henderson when you need to, but mm-hmm. those with, without the likes of Oxley Chamberlain there to, to make that individual sort of difference on his own. Having that three of in, in the midfield, I think that is so crucial. Yeah. And I think that if we see that again on Wednesday, which I hope we do, that and it goes well, that could be the, the shape of the rest of the season for us. I mean, I'm going to just start picking points to make make me feel better. Mm-hmm. Matt up had a good game Fantastic for me. Game. Um, yep. First half, he was just spraying balls around me. We were like, mm-hmm. what's he doing? There was, a, there was a little moment of play where he's got the ball at his feet at the back and then he's just pinging balls around, just finding space and... Mm. Uh, you watch it on the telly and you're like, oh, I could do that. That's so hard to do. Yeah, really so is. hard to do. Really and, and the fact that he's doing that, he had that run through the middle. He might be making a a, 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 a save for being ahead of Lovren I, when Lovren's fit. I absolutely agree with you. I think, for me, Matty was a better, definitely a better footballer mm-hmm. than, than Lovren in terms of 
passing, his passing ability, his dribbling ability. He's not afraid, obviously, to mm. to, to run past, run directly through a, a centre of defence. And I, I, the last three games, I think the la- the one positive you can take from that is we haven't conceded. Mm. Which before that's, that, that's true, we yeah. were we've we'd been shipping goals to Palace, to the likes of say West Ham, Leicester. This is the first three games in a row where we've seen Matip van Dijk and they're making a claim to say we're going to be the, the, the centre-half partnership yeah. to the end of the season. We'll see you out because you can rely on us. And yeah. no problems with that at all. I think with the likes of Lovren's injuries and the, just the nature that he dips in and out of games, I mm-hmm. think Matip has 100% earned his right to stay there next yeah. to van Dijk. And it's just more options, isn't it? With, with speaking about midfield and how we could change it. Yeah. And, that, and that's the nicest thing is you're looking at it and you go, that midfield didn't work. Mm. Well, we've got a, we've got Keita there who can, who yeah. can make it work. We've yeah. got... The the only place is Bobby Firmino. If mm. Bobby Firmino goes, we don't have that replacement. Yeah. And that's the frustrating part. But I don't want to end it on a, on no, a sad note anyway. But uh, uh, look, we are still top of the league, everyone. And... and I think I think we understand that we <laughs> we could have done better. Yeah, we we should have done, done better, and, and we can't continue to go on with this sort of four no. draws and that. That's not a format. Yeah. That's not form that wins you leagues. No, but we are top of the league, and it's in our hands to turn it around. Yeah. And we take this learning experience and say we could have beat Manchester United at Old Trafford yeah. if yeah. we really wanted to, and it just didn't fall for us on the day. And I yeah. think there's a mixture of things with the with the midfield that we can work out. And Klopp knows all this. This is we're just echo- exactly we're just echoing fans' opinion. He so. t- he's told them all in the dressing room exactly what went wrong yeah. and they're going to analyse it tomorrow and then they're going to look ahead to Watford and go, this can't happen. Yeah. Another actual positive is, man, you tried to do um, the set pieces, they tried to beat us and our, our discipline was fantastic yeah. every time. And, like They scored and and, and it, the close close calls and I, I shit myself every single <laughs> time because I yeah. hate that. Yeah. But, to know that we are just that good defensively in terms yeah. of everyone knows exactly what they're doing yeah. in that kind of position. It's, it's almost like the start of the season, isn't it, where the front three just weren't firing mm. and we had that gomez Van Dyke partnership that was just keeping us solid and it was the yeah. defence winning us the games. And yes, they're drawing the games and uh, and it's not been as exciting as it was, but you can know you know that you can rely on. We've got back a partnership there that you yeah. can look at and be like, you're brilliant. And yeah. even introducing Fabinho into that defence, yeah, he was exactly. still brilliant against Bayern. Exactly. So, so many positives to take away from this game. It was a Not poo so game many. all in all. I wouldn't say so many. Three. There were three positives to take yeah. from this game. So yeah. just in your head, go through them all the time. Yeah, be, be, be happy. Um, we are going to film the final word show very, very soon. But let us know your thoughts in the comments because we always take comments from this show. Paul's going to take them, read them out. Good, bad, whatever you think of this game, let us know who your man of the match was. We'll be doing a man of the match show probably Monday because mm-hmm. um, I can't be bothered doing it yeah. today. I don't want to talk about this talk game. can't like three points across five different videos, I'm afraid. Yeah. But um, look, everyone, thank you for watching. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. We'll be building up to the Watford game um, and obviously giving you the, the whole wrap up of this game um, Chris will be doing stats and tactics no doubt I don't know if he's going to do it on this one or for the Watford game and it's a fantastic show if you want to watch the one from the other day he's doing a he did a video on pressing and it was really was really, really um, it, it opened my eyes to oh we are, we're pressing in a different way mm-hmm. instead of this the, what what you think of where you're getting in close in it's yeah. smart pressing it's yeah. really really good video but yeah thank you everyone for watching We'll see you next time.